we are starting off the week heading to Lexington. We're actually going to go to the cemetery first thing because we haven't been here probably since the beginning of October and I'm sure the leaves on the trees are going to be beautiful and if they are you know that I'll show them to you. Um, last night we finished House of Cards. We, we kind of we didn't binge it because I consider binge watching like watching like five or six episodes in a day. Uh, but we we steadily watched it. We watched one or two episodes each night until we finished it. And um, it took us, what, less than a week, I guess. Um, but we both agree, and we're not going to give away any spoilers, none at all. But we did not like how the series ended. This is actually the end of the series. And this was, of course, the first season without Kevin Spacey. And you do miss his character. I, I think I missed his character. Um, and they did, they mentioned him, of course, Francis. Uh, his name is Francis Underwood, Underwood in the show. And they mentioned him all throughout the season. But you never heard his voice. Not, not his, you never heard his voice. Never saw a picture of him. Never saw anything to do with him. So, um, that was, that was a little bit surprising. But, um, we both agreed that the season was okay. It was, up to the last two episodes. Right. <laughs> and then the last two episodes were, they were just strange and at the the very very last episode they they did not tie anything up you hope that uh, they tie things up and that you get some answers or that there's some resolution there are many 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 loose strings yeah, they tied a few things up but not everything no not everything they there was a lot that they left hanging there in our opinion so I'm sad to see that it ended, but um, it that's, quite needed to. Yeah, that's one more show that uh, we won't be watching. So we're still working our way through the Golden Girls, still enjoying that quite a bit. And it is amazing the things that they say in that show that I don't, that you would not hear them say um, today. And I mean, you're talking about a show that was on TV in the 80s, and they use words in that show, and they make jokes in that show that would not be appropriate that today. It's considered very insensitive nowadays. Yes, things have changed. Uh, but they're absolutely hilarious and we're still enjoying them. Um, what show are we going to start next? I don't know. We've got a couple We of finished shows. Humans. Yeah, which that was excellent. If you haven't watched Humans and you like any kind of even slightly sci-fi-ish, watch it. It's good. Very, very good. Um, we have a bunch we've got a, though. We've got a bunch of stuff we have watch. a lot to choose from, so it's just a matter of what are we going to select next. Well, we just don't know. But you know that anything we do choose, I will um, keep you informed. I will tell you about it. So um, anyway, if when we get to the cemetery, if we see any pretty trees, I'll show them to you. We're at Newtown and New Circle. This is, we're still on our way to go to the cemetery, but this is the mess in front of us. Kevin comes this way um, every day to get to work, and uh, you see how people are having to turn in front of us. Uh, but they're working on the bridge, Kevin? Is that yeah, what they're, they're doing? Re they tore it down, rebuilding it, because they're making the road, the new sort of road underneath of the water. Okay. What you gotta watch out for is idiots that decide they don't want to go on news are going jerk over in front of you real fast. Uh, right, yeah, because they don't realize. So is there anything to see out the window? Um, oh wow. Yeah, we're driving on this side and there. Where was the bridge? Over there? Right, we're right here at the second. You won't be able to see it. Oh, I won't be able to see it. It's right there. We're driving on the new one. We're driving on the new one.
remember the last time I vlogged. We <laughs> went to, we went to the cemetery and after the cemetery we went in Target and um, I bought Ashley the you'll see this in the haul. It'll be last week's haul. I bought her the 12 days of beauty from Target. The lady said she had just put them out. So I bought that for her. we spent like $350 in Target and we have not spent that kind of money in Target in a while. Um, I'd say some people do it all the time, but for us, usually we spend, I don't know, 60 bucks in there and that'll be that. But this time we bought a lot of stuff that you will not see in the haul because um, we uh, we bought a bunch of stuff for Christmas, uh, mainly stocking stuffers, honestly. But so after Target, we went in Whole Foods uh, because I was trying to find, I've seen people have posted pictures of the seasonal foods at Whole Foods. Our Whole Foods had not gotten any of that out. And so we'll just have to check back maybe in a week from now. So when we left Whole Foods, we went to Culver's and uh, Kevin and I are filming today. Uh, today's Saturday. Kevin and I are filming today a couple's What I Ate Wednesday. And I've said it before that even though the video comes out on Wednesday, it's not What I Ate on Wednesday. It can be filmed any day of the week. So Kevin and I were in line at Culver's. I was just going to get some french fries and, and Kevin was going to get whatever. And all of a sudden we're in line in the drive through We hadn't gotten up to the window to order yet and Kevin waves behind him. Well, Andrew and Christina pulled up behind him in line and I mean it was a complete fluke. They didn't even realize that it was us in front of them. So I got out of the car and went back and uh, Christina was like, what are you doing here? And um, of course they had the kids in the back seat and I said, um, I said, do you want to go inside and eat? And so um, we got we got out of the drive through and we went inside and we ate lunch um, in Culver's. And so we filmed our, um, we, we showed our food uh, for our What I Ate Wednesday. After that, we went in Meyer, and then we went in Bath and Body Works. Bath and Body Works. Yeah, it, yeah, it was crazy busy in there. Today they have their little, um, what do they call them? Wall the wall scent things. Yeah, the wallflower refills. Uh, they have those on sale for two fifty dollars each. Which and, is half price probably. Yeah. And so, but that place was extremely busy. Um, you can put your camera right on it. Oh, I'm sorry. But, I wonder if I could put it here if it would stay. Just don't, just don't put your brakes on. I'm, I'm getting the bottom of your head. <laughs> um, but it, they, when you get back and you first get in line, you think this line is going to take forever. But then they've got it to where you're going like in two separate lines. And there's a one person up at the front that is directing. Like one person out of this line will go, then one person out of this line will go. And it goes a lot quicker than you think. So honestly, it was crowded in there, but it did not take us long to uh, check out at all. It was crowded to shop. It, it wasn't bad to check out. Exactly. So um, you have already seen that what I bought. If you watch the grocery hauls, it will be in last week's grocery haul. Uh, what I bought because I mean I'm sure some people would do a special Bath and Body Works haul but I didn't buy enough to probably put it in a video by itself so I'm just I'm just gonna put it in with the grocery haul I figure it's just easier to do it that way um, and now if I had bought like 10 candles and five lotions and you know on and on and on it would be different then I would do a special by the body works hall but it was just a couple of things so then we went in Ulta and I bought a couple of things in Ulta I bought I told you I bought the 12 days of beauty for Ashley in Target well we were going to the register. I needed some of that Anastasia clear brow gel and I had it. So when we got up to the, uh, near the registers, uh, 
Kevin spotted, they had an Ulta 12 days of beauty or whatever they call it. And Kevin said, you ought to get that one too. So that way she'll have 24, uh, 24 days. And so what we'll do, last year, if you were around last year at Christmas, I gave her a Tsum Tsum advent calendar and she opened up the advent calendar. We filmed it every single day. And then at the end, I put all the little clips together and made one video so that you could see all the little pieces she got. I'll do that same thing, except there will be two videos. There will be one for the Target, and then there will be one for the Ulta. But that way, if you're interested next year, you can see the types of things they give out, and you can see if, it's, if you think it's worth your while. Um, and I'll, uh, I'll make sure that when she starts filming it that we say the price, the price that we paid for each one and all that. So, um, and Ulta was a little bit busy. Uh, I think, you know, they've got so much in there and uh, so they were a little bit busy. But uh, then we went in Walmart, we didn't buy one thing. I was looking for something that they didn't have. So now we're on our way back home. But um, uh, Kevin was so good in Bath and Body Works, um, he didn't mind being in there at all, and it wasn't a problem. But then for some reason, when we got to Alta, I think you felt differently in Alta. Why do you think you felt different in well, Alta? Well, you got the music, and then you got freaks walking around. They literally look like freaks. Okay. The people working there. I was gonna say you can't say that. They look like freaks. I'm sorry. They a lot of the a lot. They're trying to make their makeup like stand out, but they do their makeup so over the top that they look like circus people. They do. It's just true. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. He, yeah. So if you work at Alta, don't make yourself look like a clown. Yeah, because honestly, if I was gonna buy makeup, I would not trust. <laughs> I would get you going. Don't, I don't want my makeup like you. I, yeah, I wouldn't trust anything that they said. <laughs> and I know for that eyebrows are really, really popular these days. It's to do your brows, but some people just are, they're just like so over the top, and they're just like the straight edge, and then they're straight, and then they go. It, it just it doesn't look good to like me. A, like a check mark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I know, we, we sound awful. We sound like old people, don't we? But that's just the truth. I'm not gonna trust somebody who has that much makeup on because if they think that looks good, then I'm not gonna, definitely not gonna trust them to put makeup on me. But um, I never go in there to get my brows done or anything. I've never had my eyebrows done, clearly. Um, I just do the brow gel because... Um, the two girls that were put doing makeup, yeah. they actually look nice. Yeah. It was, the other people. Like yes. I know who you're talking about. I so, apologize if anybody works there that looks like that. Hey, <laughs> but you know what? We've we've uh, we it's a service announcement. Yeah, that's right. That check your makeup and don't have it on really really dark. So now we're almost home, and uh, honestly, I'll be glad to get in the house. And you would think that uh, most people once they go in the house, you know, most of the work's done. They can put stuff up, and but not me. Because we do YouTube and all that, we um, have to take everything in and lay it out on the table, and then I film it, and then anything, any food that I bought today, which we did at Target, any food that I bought, I will have to take pictures of it, and then I'll have to write them put the price on it, look up the price and all that. So um, I will be glad when I can just uh, sit down and have a cup of coffee. So, but it's been a beautiful day. Even yeah, it's, it's been, it's nice been cold, cold, but it's been beautiful. We bought, we've been buying Guido the Caesar home food for a little while. We started off buying him the ones that were in the solid containers and you couldn't see through them. And those look like packed spam. But then I bragged because this food looks like there's like pieces in it. So I'm gonna show it to you. It looks like, like little pieces. Like, like you get little pieces of carrot and peas 
and uh, potato, and you hear Guido, and I'm sorry, he's going to bark because he's excited because he knows that food is coming. Okay, so I want to show you that. So then I, I bought some of this. This is Rachel Ray Nutrish. This is what it looks like if you buy it in the box. Uh, you get three of each flavor, and this is the one that I just have laying out. But I'm going to open this, and then I'm going to wrap it up for tomorrow. I'll give it to Guido. I want to show you the difference. I bought one of these Caesars just so that I could show you all this. This looks like real people food. Um, this, I want to show you how this looks compared to the... Do you see how that looks like? No, that's okay. I'll leave it in this ball and I'll just wrap it up. This looks like actual pieces of meat that I have prepared. And I mean, I was really impressed with the Caesar, but this even looks more like actual food that I would um, have made for him, myself, made it for ourselves, for people. And it has a lot more juice. I actually like that because Guido will eat the food, but then Chapel loves to lick the juice. And you see how there's hardly any juice left for him at all, which he doesn't complain, but there's a lot more juice in these. So from now on, you'll see these in the grocery haul. I do know they're a little bit more expensive, but I think uh, he's getting better quality food. I ordered some things in the mail from Target that I thought I would show you. Um, I bought the Lent Snickerdoodle Truffles, and Adam had told me that he said, if you can find these, you need to try them because they're really good. And we actually saw them in Target, but I didn't know that they were going to have them in stock. So I had just ordered them like the day before we saw them through the mail. So that's okay. I've got those. Somebody pointed out to me that we have, well, they asked me, have you ever had the candy cane kisses? I thought for sure we'd had candy cane kisses. We haven't. I looked it up on the channel and I don't see them. So uh, we're going to be trying those. And then I got two more. Hot cocoa is the flavor of the season. Uh, we've already tried the hot cocoa kisses, but these are the M&M's hot cocoa. And then I have the Dove uh, Milk Chocolate Hot Cocoa. And I think the, um, I think the Dove and the M&M's and I want to say these. And then we bought some Ghirardelli's. I think all those things are Target exclusive. Uh, these I could have bought at Walmart. I could have bought them anywhere. But I decided since I was, um ordering things from Target, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. I feel like, uh, I felt like since I was ordering things from Target, I would go ahead and order them. And then I have a box here from Mona. Um, and it's in, it's a cute little, uh, Grinch box. She actually, this actually came on, uh, Sunday. And then I thought it came like kind of late in the day Sunday and I thought well I'll wait until Monday and open it and then uh, yesterday I wasn't feeling the greatest and I actually did not put my makeup on all day yesterday which does not sound like a big deal to most people but it's probably been years since I've gone an entire day without putting makeup on because we usually do some kind of review every single day um, or I'm in front of the camera for one reason or another every day and so yesterday um it wasn't like that so I was just I wasn't feeling good and um I pretty much I did not exercise which is unlike me and I didn't put my makeup on and so the box sat here for another day it gave these boxes from Target time to come in um and I'm supposed to be getting another one from Target, but it, it's one little bag of chips. And for some reason, they had to mail it separately. So this... Hi, Kevin and Tammy. My aunt brought me some of these from Dubai, and I love them. I found them on Amazon, so I wanted you to try them from Mona. So, yeah, her aunt came in, and Mona's aunt... Assorted chocolate, chocolate date with almond. Only 44 calories each. 
and they're Ziyad, Z-I-Y-A-D. Ziyad Brothers Importing. And this is what they look like on the back. You can see those. Oh, okay, and she has two different kinds in here. Awesome. Well, I'll tell you what. They, um... They put, uh, made sure that they got the little pieces of paper in there. So we have a coconut chocolate. Whoop. A coconut chocolate and an assorted. So thank you, Mona. And then she, Mona told me that she has something, um, I think she said from Lent, coming on uh, Wednesday, which is tomorrow. So um, I look forward to getting that too. So this is neat. I've never heard of this before. Uh, and I'm sure that's uh, why she sent it to us. But I also want to tell you some things. You know, I try to keep you up to date. Uh, things that we've been watching or things um, uh, that we've, movies or TV or whatever. This is something that is a podcast. And I know I had not told you all about this. This is um, the name of the, I don't know if it's the name of the company who does it. It's called Wondery. And it's called Dr. Death. You see it? So if you listen to podcasts, that's what the thumbnail looks like. And it says Dr. Death, and it's by Wondery. That's the one that you need to listen to. There are nine episodes. One of them wasn't really an episode. One of them came out like a week ago, and it was like a two-minute clip. for It was like an advertisement for something else. Um, this, it's been like probably a month since these have come out and they said, you know, if you stay subscribed, then anytime they find out new information about Dr. Death, um, they would do a new episode. So, uh, just today, I think this popped up in my feed, um, they've done a new episode and I've got almost four minutes left of it. Um, but this doctor is, um... I'm not going to tell you much about it because I would really like, if you like listening to podcasts, you need to listen to this one. He's in Texas and he, uh, it, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not, I just don't even want to tell you. He's a surgeon and I'm not going to tell you anything about his story because every single episode, each new episode is going to shock you and you just need to. Uh, you need to hear it for yourself. It's a precautionary tale. It, it will, you'll never want to go have another surgery again. <laughs> you, uh, you will want to be very diligent when it comes to doing your homework, when it comes to doctors, because what you find out through this is that um, the, the hospital is just as afraid as anybody else of of saying anything to these doctors um and, and, and apparently it's a lot of hospitals uh many 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 hospitals they're afraid that they're going to get sued and so they don't say anything to stop these poor doctors and uh so nothing gets done and these doctors keep practicing and it's just this uh horrible circle so you you just if you uh, like podcasts like i said you need to listen to that um we also just finished watching um unforgotten um it i think it was the third season of unforgotten with nicola walker i love her she's she was one that was in last tango in halifax if you've ever watched that she's wonderful she's just a terrific actress and anytime she is delivering her lines, I just feel like, it doesn't feel like they're lines to me. It feels like this is a real person and then this is really happening and this is what she's really saying. Because she's so good at it that the, the with her delivery of her lines, that she, she's just, uh, you're really watching a pro. And there were so many men in this last season that Kevin and I recognize from other places. Uh, so if you can watch that, that one's good. Um, I have been watching uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm. And 
I remember when th Curb Your Enthusiasm started years and years ago. I don't know how Kevin and I would have seen it. Maybe we were getting HBO for a short period of time and maybe we quit getting HBO and so we didn't, we never got to see any more because I remember we had watched a few and we loved them. We thought it was hilarious. Well, now I'm watching them on Amazon Prime and uh he's hilarious he uh he is just absolutely hilarious and things happen to him that you can totally see happening to other people um just uh, things that don't happen to most people happen to larry david and um i'll listen to this radio show i've told you all about it before uh, their names are bob and sherry that's the radio host Bob talks about things that happen to him all the time in real life. And it's things like happened to Larry David on this show, Curb Your Enthusiasm. And it's like, I told Kevin, I said, this is Bob's real life. <laughs> so I feel like when I'm watching Curb Your Enthusiasm, I feel like I'm watching Bob. <laughs> because these hilarious things only happen to him. And... People say the darndest things uh, to him. And he says things, you know, he's not going to let anybody get away with anything either. So, uh, he, it's just funny. So, if you get Amazon Prime, if you've never checked out Curb Your Enthusiasm, you should watch it. You do need to know there is adult language in it. It is, um, it is an adult show. Um, so, but it, it's so funny. Um... Also, um, I found, I guess I was skipping through on Netflix while I wasn't feeling good yesterday, and I found um, America's Border Patrol, I think that's what it's called, um, and it's, I don't know if I've, I had watched the one, it seems like I had watched one from like New Zealand and Australia, I think I had watched one from Canada. But I had somehow missed this one from America. I thought that I had seen one a while back. But now these are all new episodes that I had not seen. And so I've seen people coming in from New York and Detroit and uh, Washington State. We still have Vera. And we haven't watched any episodes of Vera in a very, very long time. <coughs> and then there's another show... It's a police drama. Line of Duty. Uh, we need to watch. I think we have one season of that to watch. Um, so we'll probably finish that up first. So we're getting Guido's nails trimmed. And look at these new additions they have out here. These umbrellas with the dogs. They're so cute. They have Snoopy cookies. Owl cookies. Snowmen, there's a Peanuts, a Charlie Brown one. <laughs> Guido and I are waiting in the car while Kevin goes to get his hair cut. Uh, Guido got his nails trimmed. It seems like we try to do both at the same time. Like Kevin will get his hair cut and we'll get Guido's nails trimmed at the, uh, on the same day if we can, or at least during the same week. Uh, but Kevin left the car running because it's cold outside and he had Christmas music on and this horrific Christmas song came on. And I just have to know who is listening to this stuff. Christmas music, I like happy, happy Christmas music. Nobody wants to hear about mommy getting sick and mommy dying and mommy this and that on Christmas. Mommy being dead on Christmas and being sick. Who wants to hear that stuff? I don't know why anyone, why would you choose to sing along to that or sit at home and... Um, boo-hoo and cry to that. I mean, why would you choose? I just don't know why anyone would choose to listen to that stuff. That was yesterday when I was talking to you about that song and I looked it up because I, I, I just, I had to tell you the, the name of the song so that you will not listen to this. It is called The Christmas Shoes <laughs> and it is the most 
horrific song. I just, I truly don't know why would you pay for this? Why would you, why would you buy a CD with this song? Why would you want to sing along to this? And it, um, let me give you some of the words to this, okay? If you have not heard the Christmas shoes. Um, it was almost Christmas time. There I stood in another line, trying to buy that last gift or two, not really in the Christmas mood. Standing right in front of me was a little boy waiting anxiously, pacing around like little boys do, and in his hands he ha held a pair of shoes. His, his clothes were worn and old, he was dirty from head to toe, and when it came his time to pay, I couldn't believe what I heard him say. Sir, I want to buy these shoes for my mama, please. It's Christmas Eve, and these shoes are just her size. Could you hurry, sir? Daddy says there's not much time. You see, she's been sick for quite a while, and I know these shoes would make her smile. And I want her to look beautiful if mama meets Jesus tonight. <laughs> no! <laughs> so, the kid, it ends up, the kid doesn't have the money for the shoes, but he wants to get the shoes. It is a horrible, horrible song, and it's like, why? <laughs> I want to hear Jolly Old St. Nicholas, lean your ear this way. I don't want to hear Mama meeting Jesus wearing her new shoes. No, thank you. No. So, if you see that song come on the radio, run the other way. Turn it off. Um, <laughs> I have a box here. It, um, it is from Mona. Mona has sent us um, uh, a box of lint. And Kevin's not home. Normally, I would wait... Um, normally I would let Kevin open this with me, but, uh, Kevin is at work, and, uh, then when he gets home, uh, to, uh, when he gets off work today, we have some things to do. So, um, they sent me a complimentary truffle. This is the 70%, uh, cocoa. So, I love it that they do that. And they did send a form, a uh, invoice sheet, but I'm not going to look at it. It's a tall box. I've got it. Oh, look how cute he is. This is a assorted, um, this is a, their assorted tr uh, truffles. Uh, this is their uh, milk and dark and white, I'm sure is what that, look how cute that is. That's adorable. I love that. Okay. And I swear there's another one that feels the same way. Oh, look at this. Oh, I love this. That's their ornament. Um, and I will definitely be putting that on the tree. I love that. That is nice. That's a nice metal ornament. And I'll open it. I'll open it for you right here so you can see what you get on the inside. Maybe I need to, I only untaped one side. Maybe I need to untape both. I love these kind of ornaments though. And it's nice that it's metal too because then you don't have to worry when you're storing it. You don't have to worry about it breaking. Maybe I need to. I don't want to break my nail. <laughs> my nails either. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, and they're just loose. They're just loose, loose truffles. So I think the same thing that you get in um, the Santa Claus, you get in here. 
You get a lot though. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you get a lot of troubles in there. So I will not hang those up on the tree. I'm gonna, yeah. So I will put those in a candy dish and uh, that way this will be empty. I love that ornament though. And it, um, it, it has the date, it's good before next year, but I was hoping it would say give the date this year, but I can always uh, put it on there at the bottom. I love that. Okay, let's see. Digging on down. Assorted chocolates. Look at this. And I don't know if we've had these before. Uh, I have no idea if we've had these before. I will have to just look. Uh, because Mona has sent us some really nice gift boxes in the past. I will have to look to see if we've tried these. Honestly, they do not look familiar to me. Uh, so, and then the last thing in here, this is heavy, whatever it is. Oh! Oh, okay. So we have, um, and uh, white chocolate with almonds and caramelized almond pieces. Then we have, oh, same thing. Okay, so two of those bars. And then a milk chocolate with hazelnuts and caramelized pieces. And a dark chocolate with hazelnuts and caramelized hazelnut pieces. So uh, we will definitely, um, be doing a review of these and I'm sure we'll be doing a review of this chocolate box too because I truly these do not look familiar to me I mean we've tried a lot of lint chocolate but these these just don't look familiar um, the ones on the back here so yeah there's a lot in there there um, there's 12 different kinds <laughs> So, that'll be a lot of chocolate eating. But thank you very, very much, Mona. I really appreciate this. I love this. Um, he's just adorable. And um, that, uh, that is something uh, that we can keep too. Uh, you can keep him year after year and use him. Um, uh, use him as an ornament, I think and take the, the lint truffles out of the middle. Let's see. Yeah. And he's full. Isn't that nice? And it's the same the, the same truffles that were in this uh, ornament are in here. Well, I love that. Uh, I will definitely keep him, and I'll set him on the mantle or something like that. But thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. We took Guido to the vet today. He got us up. Normally, we get up at 6.20 in the morning. Today, he got us up at 5.20. So, a full hour ahead of schedule. The, the thing that I, the only good thing about that is that I was finished with my workout an hour ahead of time. So, so I was ahead of the game. Um, but I was worried that he might have an ear infection. And it's time uh, for his shots anyway. So, we took him to the vet. And we, um, they, they weighed him and they expressed his anal glands, which were, um, full. Disgusting. Yeah, it's really, it's gross. He does have a little bit of an ear infection in both ears. Um, and so, 
they they're doing they did something new today um the um doctor asked us if it was okay uh, to try it's called ketotic k-e-t-o-t-i-c and what it is it's it looked like elmer's glue <laughs> yeah it's thick and wax yeah it yeah it's 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 like a wax and he said as long as he doesn't get wet like a lot of water down in his ear or as long as um, you don't clean it as out. long as we don't clean it out like if i don't take a q-tip and clean it out it'll stay in there for what do he say like five he said months? one month to five months yeah one to five months so if it only lasts a month then it probably isn't worth it because it was a little bit pricey it was 23 dollars but if it does last for five months then it was probably worth it for guido and so anyway we're gonna try we're gonna see if that helps um he got one of his shots today and then we're gonna take him back in like january and get the other one um he asked us how guido was getting around and everything because guido's 14 years and four months old and um so uh, but he did remind me it's like a motrin for dogs or mm, something helps them, um, loosen them up a little bit yeah he, we have this medicine at home it's like a tylenol really for dogs um but if he has trouble getting around or something that i i forgot why i had that and that's probably why it's like if if he's having trouble getting around so we got him taken care of that was 76 76 dollars but i don't think that's bad at all he um he gets excellent care at uh boonesboro animal clinic that's where we take him excellent that's care pretty much his whole life yeah his whole life that's where he's been um and they they just do a phenomenal job there and every single person that uh works there is really good and so anyway we're <laughs> Kroger now, bless you. We're at Kroger now, and hopefully it won't be too busy. Last time we were up here, they had half of it blocked off. Um, I think they're finished. Oh no! They're, well, they it's, don't have it blocked it's off. not blocked off like it was. <laughs> you were hopeful. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're not finished. They're they're redoing the floors in here, so it's it's kind of been a pain. Yeah, getting new freezers and all that. But it'll be nice because we'll have nice brand new freezers that work really well. We have a couple of things to open for you, and I want to leave this exactly like it is because um, it is... It's a little mangled. Yeah, it's from overseas, and it um, has uh, rubber bands around it, and it looks like it completely came open. Yeah, yeah, it's like completely open. So if there's anything missing, then just know it's a pretty good about getting the top back the is open so hopefully everything is in here that's supposed to be in here there is a card oh my gosh have a cushy christmas <laughs> that is awesome it is, it is i love that we have our own only fools and horses card um um oh this is from stacy ann she said, hi, Tammy and Kevin. I wanted to send these DVDs before the Christmas rush. As you liked Peter Kay's car share, I thought I would send you some of his stand-up. It's very British, but you might still find it funny. I hope it's all in there. Um, Rock and Chips is a Only Fools and Horses prequel, and I really enjoyed it. I also sent Trolleyed another uk sitcom i find pretty funny but if you guys don't like them i won't be offended i hope you enjoy the maltesers christmas decorations and the christmas haribo the only reason i sent the milkshake straws is because it said special edition on the package and the flavors looked interesting i know they are not very good <laughs> i hope you guys and your family have a great Christmas from Stacy Ann. P.S. The Haribo was a pound. Same with the straws and Maltesers decorations and the tea bags. Really sorry about the tea bags. LOL. The Angel Delight was 50p. Take care and have a great Christmas. 
I love this. Does it look like everything made it? I don't know. I haven't dug into it. Okay, so I have the Tesco. This is their ad for food to order for the holidays. And I for always, uh, yeah, it's always really fun to see what you get. She also sent Sainsbury's. And it is food that you can order for the holidays. So I'll enjoy Wait, those. Is that a big bowl of beans? Like pen, like baked, like uh, pork and beans. I know that's a thing over there, that's, but it looked like a big, it was on this side. Yeah. No, that's oh, okay. a ham. It looked like a big thing you know why? pork and beans. It has, it has, it. It has uh, little pieces of pineapple chunk on oh, top of it. Oh, and it's brown. That's and it all I looks saw. like beans from the way the picture was <laughs> It looked like a big stadium. pile of beans. That's hilarious. Sorry, anyway. Okay, these are the milk straws that she was talking about. And those are the ones that she got in the pound store. Yeah, this is them. Oh, okay, good, 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 good. This is limited edition. Oh, cool. Okay, yes. Okay, that is awesome. Yeah, so there are four different kinds. There might be more in here. I don't see any more, but there might be. Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. that's cool. And it, it goes right back together like that. So it looks like a little carton of milk, mm -hmm. and then that's it has it. the milk straws, limited edition flavor. And we've tried milk straws over here before. They don't work as well as you would think. They, they don't. Would. And they so that's have. why she said, she knows she does, they don't really right. work or whatever. They have a jammy biscuit flavor, a creamy choco flavor, fruity cereal, and forest fruit, sour cherry, and banana flavors. That is awesome. I love that. Maltesers. You know, she said Christmas decorations, and I'm thinking, what in the world kind of Christmas decorations could they have? But these are literally to hang on your tree. Now, do you think I'll do that? No, nope, I will eat them. Yes, I will enjoy these very much. You get 10 of them though. That's cool. Okay. Brussels sprouts tea. Mmm. Pigs in blankets tea. <laughs> that just sounds terrible. <laughs> that sounds horrible. Terrible. I don't like Brussels sprouts on a good day anyway. Well, it should be interesting. You know, they must, somebody must like this though, or why would they sell it? Or it's a joke. I bet it's not. Probably. I don't think it's a joke. I think somebody probably really likes this. Maybe they look forward to it every year. I bet they do. Um, yeah, you get sage and rosemary in that one. In this one, you get green tea bags with Brussels sprouts. Okay. Angel Delight white chocolate flavor, and we've had the Angel Delight before, and we really like it. It's it's pudding. Haribo Star Mixmas Christmas flavors. It has it like gingerbread, there. cherry trifle, eggnog, apple strudel, and custard, cherry crumble, and apple strudel. I will enjoy reviewing those very, very much. I love trying stuff like that. Oh, and here's the Peter K. Yes, Peter K. Live at the Bolton Albert Halls. So he at Albert Halls. I think he's. I know, because yeah. I'm assuming that's the Royal Albert Hall, right? Um, I've seen one on. Um, on YouTube, but I don't think I ever made it through the whole thing. I bet I wonder if this is the one. And then this is Peter Kay alive at the top of the tower. And I've definitely not seen that one. And then this is Rockin' Chips, the prequel to Only Fools and Horses. Oh. The story so far. All three TV specials. A three disc set. I'm so glad you sent us some new things to watch. I can't wait. And I convert and these over, by the way. Yes, Kevin will take them off here and convert them, and then we'll be able to play them. I, I'm, I'm so glad, though, because um, it just opens up a whole new world to us. Uh, you know, we don't have uh, stuff like this over here. 
And this has all three series trolleyed. Mm -hmm. That looks like it'll be so much fun. Thank you very, very, very much, Stacey Ann. I really appreciate that. Even the tea. Because I'm, I'm curious about the tea. And I love the card. The Only Fools and Horses card. Um, nobody will get that but me and Kevin. You know, that this is something we like here. Ever, anybody else would be like, who is that? Yeah, it's like, what in the, what, what in the world? Yeah, who are, who are, who are these uh, old geezers on the front? <laughs> Okay, are you right. ready? This one's from Jason. Jason in Maryland. And I'm assuming one thing in here is going to be um, oatmeal. Because he said something about he forgot to put the price of the oatmeal on the inside. Something about oatmeal. So. There's a note. Kevin's reading it. You can read it. Okay. Yeah, don't read the back. Okay. Hi, Tammy and Kevin. Just wanted to send you both some gifts to enjoy, as well as a few food <laughs> items to try out. I know I sent you the DC. Uh -huh. Oh, been there mug before. But the one I included seems to be a special holiday edition of it. Best wishes to you both, and I hope you and your family have a wonderful Thanksgiving. All the best, Jason. A special holiday edition? Okay. This is not what he said. No, I'll get to that. These are Uts pork rinds, chicaronis, original. And these are barbecue. I don't know why we don't get these around here. I know, but they're not good. These uh, signature select pumpkin spice kettle corn. That looks good because it has a, uh, a white confectionery drizzle. And that's the kind I like, is with the white drizzle. You know, anything to make it bad. I haven't seen those. Oh. Hers Kettle Cooked Three Pepper. You have Ancho, Guaguillo, Guaguillo, and Pasilla Peppers. Don't make fun. I don't know how to say no, that. Please. Never said that before. And then this one has, uh, that's a limited edition. And then this is uh, aged cheddar and peppercorn flavor. Cool. Uh, honey. I've not seen this. I haven't seen that yeah, well, um, and everybody likes to put peanut butter in their um, oatmeal. So I've, I've heard been, that. I've never done that. I think this is going to that. be very good. I can imagine putting peanut butter in your oatmeal. I mean, I've heard of people doing that. I just can't imagine. This is... It looks like it's for me. The Snack Artist Sweet and Salty Chili Crunch. This has uh, honey toasted peanuts, seasoned peanuts, honey roasted sesame sticks, salsa flavored corn sticks, almonds, chili crackers, and corn nougats. The road the, nut taken. The, did it say it had um, the, the, the peanuts? Sticks. No, the peanuts. So they, they yeah, have, uh, seasoned peanuts. They, they have the sweet ones though. Looks like they um, No, I don't think you don't it has that. No. No, I, I know the ones you're talking about because I like those too, but it doesn't have those. But I think it has everything else in here. Everything but the sweet ones. I can't wait to try that one. Yeah, this one's a red box. I've never seen a red box. Oh, wow. Yeah, I have not seen one of these. We've seen one at our Starbucks locally, but it's just a like Christmas cup. It's not, a, it's not cool. anything. Oh, I love it. That's on gold. Oh yeah, I love it. That it's, is look, awesome. Look, it's all, in, not, it's just gold and white except for that cup. Yeah. It's like a red the Starbucks The Federal cup. City. Do you know what I think of when I see that? You do, you do you think of anything specific? You don't think of Forrest Gump and Jenny? Oh. <laughs> this is an awesome cup. Thank you very much. If they had one of these here, I would totally get it. I have not seen anything like this though for uh, for Kentucky. So, 
it has all the buildings. This is what I was talking about with Forrest Gump and Jenny, where they meet at the fountain in Forrest Gump. I know, I'm lame, but that's, that's just what I thought of. I love this. But you would not know that this was, that it had come out at Christmas. Mm -mm. At all. Or just a special edition. Well, I appreciate that very, very much. And then he showed me two things. It doesn't say anything on the box. Weird. Uh, then he sent me two Middle Earth things. One is uh, Rupert Rub Rub Rubies? Rubius Hagrid's Hagrid. hut. His hut. His little, his little house. That's a thick, that's got a couple sheets in there. And then um, Himiji? Himiji Castle? I don't know, some kind of castle. <laughs> I've never seen that. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. It seems like... This one says it's hard. Oh, or really? Towards the hard side, which is good. I like when they say... How do, well, how do you... Oh, I see. That this one medium. is medium. That's cool. Thank you. Yeah, thank you yeah, so much. This, is, sure. an, this is an awesome box. Uh, both of these things. Um, I, I cannot wait till we're going to have a lot of fun with these. But I really... I, I love the cup. Thank you very much. I'm gonna end the vlog for the week, but Kevin reminded me of one more song to add to the bad Christmas songs. Okay, so I talked about the Christmas shoes earlier in the video. There is a another song that they've been playing on the radio over and over, like it's a Christmas song. I do not understand how this is a Christmas song at all. And I don't remember them when I was younger playing it. I, maybe it's not a new song. I don't know. It's called Hallelujah. And I don't like it at all. Um, I just don't understand how it's a Christmas song. Uh, it says, uh, well, I've heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord, but you don't really care for music, do you? Um, and it goes on. Okay, so this is why I think it's a bad song. It's, um, or it's not happy. Okay, it's not happy at all. Well, your faith was strong, but you needed proof. You saw her bathing on the roof. Her beauty and the moonlight overthrew you. She tied you to her kitchen chair, and she broke your throne, and she cut your hair. And from your lips, she drew the hallelujah. Um, and then it goes on and on. So, we're going from singing happy, happy Christmas songs to somebody tying you to a chair and cutting your hair off. And I don't get, I don't get how this is a Christmas song at all. If someone could explain to me what makes this a Christmas song, I, I, <coughs> I don't think there's anything Christmassy about it. Um, and it, it's just not, it's not a, uh, it's not a happy song at all. Maybe there's a God above, but all I've ever learned from love was how to shoot somebody who outdrew you. And it's not a cry that you hear at night. It's not somebody who's seen the light. It's a cold and it's a broken hallelujah. That's a winner. To, you know, I mean, it's just not happy to me at all. Um, I would much rather listen to Judy Garland or Ben Crosby or Mitch Miller or uh, Johnny Mathis or Ray Cundiff or uh, there's tons of other people that I would rather listen to that have happy happy Christmas music over this so I will leave you with that um, I hope you all had a good week I know this has gone over an hour a little bit um, at the end of the video I'm gonna um, there's uh, a couple pictures uh, that we took when we were at the cemetery that were earlier in the video um, that I didn't show you. And uh, so I hope you all will enjoy those. Hope everyone has a happy Thanksgiving this week. If you celebrate Thanksgiving, if you're in the United States, happy Thanksgiving. If not, then just have a happy Thursday.